Hey guys, it's Dan here, and today I have another review video for you, and we're gonna be talking about Dixon flannel shirts. Now, before we get started, I just wanna tell you a little bit about what's going on. I have a mirror behind me, so I threw a sheet over it to keep the reflection and the distractions out of the video. Um, the other thing is um, I get comments on some of my videos saying I'm a little long-winded. It's always been a problem of mine. I will try to keep this as short as possible, but I wanna give you as much information as I can to help you make a decision um, when you're deciding if you wanna buy one of these shirts. So Dixon Flannel Shirts. Dixon Flannel Shirts are based out of Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, I have purchased a few shirts from Dixon after a friend introduced me to them. I'm actually wearing the first shirt that I bought from Dixon about a year or so ago and uh, it's held up really well. I really like them. Like I said, I've since bought several from them and I figured since I do enjoy them and since I have a little time with them, I would do a review. I bought this shirt, I kept it in the packaging. I've kind of broken it out a little bit. I kept it in the packaging because I wanted to kind of see what you get when you order from Dixon. So when you get it in the mail, it's gonna be in a, obviously in a mailing type bag and then you get the inside, you get this Dixon bag and it has the size and and has a name on it. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it out. I'm gonna show you what you get. It's a shirt. Flannel shirt. Um, I'm gonna go over a couple of the features that kind of are selling points to me. Um, first of all, uh, I am 6'2", I weigh about 210 pounds, and I order a large. Now, depending on the brand of shirt that I wear, I either wear a large or an extra large. In a dress shirt, I wear about a 17 and a half with a 36 inch sleeve. So I have kind of long arms. I don't, Dixon offers a large tall. I don't order the tall because my torso to leg ratio is a little bit off. I have an average size torso with long legs. I wear a 34 inseam pants and just a regular, so regular shirts fit fine. The challenge that I have with most flannel shirts is when I wash them, they shrink and the arms usually ride halfway up, uh, you know, the cuffs are halfway up my arm. That's one of the things that I like about Dixon shirts. The arms are cut long. I'll show you this one that I'm wearing. Um, like I said, this is a large, and let me get this chair out of the way. This is a large, and I think I wear about a 44, um, a 44 jacket, like if you were wearing a blazer or a dress coat, just to give you an idea, chest size, a 44, maybe a 45. Uh, but this is what I like. Um, I ride a motorcycle, and so I really appreciate when I have my hands up on the handlebars, my sleeves don't ride up. So that's a big selling point for me. One of the other selling points for me that I really like, and it's a little hidden feature, and I think it's a great touch that they did, is on this new shirt you can see see the collar here this side well they're actually both but what's really cool is you can see they have a little loop and a button under the collar i'm trying to get it undone while i'm talking they have a loop and a button so here's the little loop right here. And then I have a little button right there. So this button, you can button down that collar. And when you ride your motorcycle at 50 miles an hour on the highway, 60 miles an hour, however fast, your collar is not flapping up and slapping you in the face. And I actually wore one, I rode the other night and I was wearing one of these flannels. Right now I have it unbuttoned. But I had them buttoned when I was riding and it makes a huge difference, it's awesome. So anyway, so there you go. These, uh, one of the things, they've changed a few things since this first one that I bought about a year or so ago. They've added the, uh, the little gusset thing in the back that gives you a little bit more it's right here in the back. They give you that little pleat. It gives you a little bit more shoulder room uh, across the back. Um, all their shirts, they name them. And this one is called the Adamantium. I guess it's a, um, you know, it's kind of a, uh, 
what's his face? Um, Wolverine. So you see it's got the it's got the knuckle and the claws. And they, they put it in the buttons too, which is kind of cool. All the buttons, it says Dixon Flannel, and then it tells you, you probably can't see that, but it says Adamantium. This shirt that I'm wearing right here, the, the, it's called Murked Out. And so on the buttons, it says Murked Out, real small. They always have a Dixon branding on them right above the pocket right here on the left side. This one has it too, just a little different color. Some of the special runs that they do, they'll have something else. I have one that's a V-Twin Visionary, so it says VTV. It was a kind of a special run they did. And so, anyway, but that's all the branding that's on the shirt. It's very small. It's very, you know, it's not obnoxious. Uh, other function that, that's kind of cool right here in the bottom of the shirt, shirt tail, if you flip the front up, the new ones have a little piece of microfiber right here. So you can use it to wipe your glasses, which is kind of cool, instead of using your shirt. And then on the other front shirt tail, you got the Dixon logo on the inside. It's got an extra small button and an extra big button. Um, these shirts are built very well. They're made out of 100% polyester. Uh, they claim that they don't shrink and they don't pill up. And I can attest to the fact that they don't shrink. I've washed this shirt many, many times and I'm not one of these people that separates my laundry. I just throw it all in there in warm water and wash it. They recommend that you hang them to dry. I think that's probably a good idea. And I've started doing that with my newer ones. Um, it keeps them a little bit softer. And also they will pill a little bit. They're not gonna be really, really bad, but I think the heat, what the heat will do is the polyester, it gives it a little bit of a sheen to it, kind of gives it a little shine. Uh, so I recommend you wash them and then just hang them to dry. And I think it'll keep them softer and keep them from getting too, kind of too obnoxious. Um, even though they're 100% polyester, they have a cotton feel to them. They're not super, super soft cotton feel, but they're soft. Uh, they're a medium weight, I think I would call it. It's not a super heavy weight uh, shirt, flannel shirt, but they're a medium weight. But they're very comfortable shirts. And like you said, here's the length. It's kind of hard to see. But here's the length on it. They cover, let me push this back a little bit. Yeah, so they come down. They cover pretty well. They come down to about past my pocket on my blue jeans. But like I said, I have long arms and I think the long sleeves and the sleeves that don't shrink is a big selling point for me. So, um, where do you get these shirts? Their website is DixonQuality.com. They're spelled D-I-X-X-O-N and it's DixonQuality.com. And the thing that I would say about the Dixon is they seem to make small runs. So a lot of times when you go out, a lot of their stuff in common sizes is sold out. They make men's and women's shirts. A lot of the common sizes are sold out. I wear a regular large and a lot of times they, uh, they will be sold out. Pricing, their normal price for their flannel shirts is usually seems to be either 49 or 59. So that's the biggest thing that I would say um about their shirts i think they're great shirts i really like them obviously i have five of them but i buy them when they're on sale and that's the trick i think that's what i would say is this one that i just bought it was on a kind of a pre-black friday sale i got this shirt for 29 i think it was for 29 dollars 30 dollars whatever it's a it's a great shirt is it a $60 shirt? The quality is there, the build is there, the little, you know, the little add-ons, the little things like that. Make it an excellent shirt. Is it a $60 shirt? That's what you have to decide. I personally, I don't, I don't wanna pay $60 for just about any shirt. It doesn't matter where it's made or who makes it or whatever. Uh, I'm kind of thrifty when it comes to that kind of stuff. So I have bought one at full price. I bought one at $50 for myself and my wife. And um, that's the other thing. The one that my wife got, it had snaps on it. Some of the shirts, they have buttons and some have snaps. And you can see them when you go to the website. I will say that the ones with snaps, the snaps are really strong. So don't, don't let that kind of steer you away from buying one with snaps. They still function very well. 
So it's just a matter of if you feel like it's a $60 shirt to you. Uh, I, like I said, $30 is kind of my sweet spot, 30 to 40. And this is a definitely a 30 to $40 shirt. I, when it starts pushing 60, I don't really like paying 60 bucks for any shirt. Next question that I probably am gonna be asked, I know in the, um, in the comments, if I don't answer it now, is where's the shirt made? The shirts are made in China. The company is in Phoenix. The shirts are made in China. In the interest of full disclosure, I know some people will not like that. Personally, I would love to see Dixon make the shirts somewhere else, anywhere but China. However, they're they're well-made shirts. Just because they're made in China doesn't mean they're they're crap. I know China gets a bad rap about just making garbage. These are very well-made shirts. They're going to hold up. They're very well thought out. Um, I just would love to see them make them somewhere besides China, just for you know reasons other than you know uh, quality, because it's not a quality issue. They're they're excellent quality shirts. So um, anyway, my recommendation is if you catch one of these guys on sale, absolutely jump on it. If you don't have a problem paying fifty or sixty dollars for a good flannel shirt, jump on it especially if you can get one of these on sale for you know 20 to 30 dollars not 20 they're probably gonna be 30 ish uh if you can get one of these guys on sale definitely jump on it they're great shirts they look good and um they hold up really well like i said this was the first one i bought i've had it for well over a year i've worn it a lot it, it looks great feels great uh, it's a good shirt um so you know i highly recommend them um, oh yeah, I forgot the other little thing is when you get them, the hang tags, the hang tags, this one's probably backwards, but this is a sticker. This piece peels off and you get a sticker with your shirt. I, I just stick them on my toolbox, but it's, it's kind of cool. It's just something different. But anyway, um, DixonQuality.com, check them out. If you have any questions, I would be happy to answer them in the comments. Just leave me a comment. Also, Dixon is not paying me a dime. My channel does not have enough subscribers i don't make money on these videos so i have no financial incentive to make these videos i make these videos because i like to pay it forward youtube has helped me a lot and i just like to help other people so if you like the video like it uh subscribe i try to throw out these little review videos every once in a while i do repair videos whenever i fix things on my cars and stuff like that and if I can help somebody out, that's why I do it. So, you know, like and subscribe. And uh, please, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to try to answer them. I hope everybody has a, a wonderful day. And I hope everyone's doing well. And be nice to each other. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching my video.